triumph in the storm. News 12 New Jersey's Luke Margolis joins us with more on why Sandy will always be a happy anniversary for one family. Della and Roxanne, October 29th, 2012, will always hold a special meaning for Liam Schleppy and his parents. Five weeks premature, Liam couldn't wait to see what all the ruckus was about. With his mom in labor and Sandy in full swing, his parents, some talented doctors, and a series of ambulance drivers had a night they won't soon forget. My doctor even told me, relax, have a glass of wine, um, you know, do what you can, so just calm down. We had the games and we had, we rented videos, I had the backup generators, make sure the TV and the DVD players would all work. So getting Christine, I really didn't have a game plan. He was five and a half weeks before his, before her due date. But little Liam Schleppy isn't known for taking his time at anything. The energetic two-year-old surprised his parents the night of Superstorm Sandy, ending their plans of riding out the storm at home by introducing himself to the world. The problem was getting to the hospital. We can't have him at home. We can't because he's five weeks early. But this being Sandy, nothing came easy. The first ambulance got stuck in the mud. Switching to a second didn't help. A tree blocked its path to the hospital. So they rerouted to a mobile facility in Hillsborough, where Dr. Herman Marshall was standing by. You no, know, I examined her after she came in, and it became obvious very quickly from the exam that the baby was coming very, very soon. The wind was whipping around so hard, the crew eventually relocated to a nearby church where Liam was born. Tuesday, members of the City Medical Center. Having him as a, as a, as a memory is definitely something that we, you know, we're, we're happy to speak about. Um, it, it's a, it was a happy event for us. And I hope that other people can take that and, you know, and say, okay, there were positive stories, Sandy. This was the Schleppi family's sixth child and most unusual delivery. Liam's mom, Christine, said she also got to do this one without pain medication, something she wasn't eager to repeat. The family also got the full Sandy experience. While they were at the field hospital, a tree crushed their garage. But trading a garage for a healthy son was something they seemed happy to bargain for. Luke Margolis, News 12, New Jersey. What a great story. Thanks, Luke.